Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is Chopper. Welcome back to another video, and this one, I'm going to show you guys how to play Darth Vader in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, this is a hero that was interesting for me to learn and get gameplay with. This one is a little different than all the other heroes, even though he seems like a standard lightsaber. I'm not a super huge fan of Vader, and uh, you're going to see why, but nonetheless, I'm going to figure out a strategy, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what works best for me. Now, if you guys could do me a really big favor, as always, drop a like on the video if this helps you, if you find it interesting, and uh, subscribe if you are brand new for more hero guides, Star Wars Battlefront 2 updates, and live streams, everything like that. I'd appreciate it a ton. But anyways, all, be all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, Darth Vader is a hero that was requested a lot, and I wasn't really sure when I was going to make this guide, but I decided to pick him up and, uh, you know, see what I can do with him. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this hero didn't, me and, me and Vader didn't really click right at first because he's so opposite to my comfortable play style. The way I like to play is really fast, aggressive, sort of in-your-face gameplay, and Vader is not like that at all. I'm definitely more suited towards Darth Maul, and uh, I feel very comfortable running him, but with Vader, I had to completely change the whole way I played this game. Now, Vader has three basic abilities. His L1 is going to be a saber throw. That is pretty similar to Darth Maul's saber toss, and then his L1 R1 is going to be a focused rage mode where uh, you can actually deal more saber strikes, and uh, also those strikes will do more damage, and you can take less damage, which I'll explain in a little bit as well. And then the R1 is going to be a force choke which is actually a really unique move that you'll need to take advantage of if you want to be successful with vader now the other side to vader being very slow methodical and calculated is that you have so much health especially if you run the card setup that i'm going to tell you to run you can spawn in with a colossal 1000 points of health and that is an absolute tank you can just soak up damage for your team and they can come through and clean up and that's what vader does best at is almost like a distraction and just an absolute tank some of his strengths and weaknesses are his saber throw. This can be really good for finishing off weak enemies, but I must warn you that the saber toss without the upgraded card does not go very far, so that's really your only way of uh, an extended reach of how to kill somebody is your saber throw, but you must use it sparingly because you can do damage, but if you miss, it's going to be pretty punishing as it does take a little while to recharge. Now, the way to use your force choke, I'm going to show you guys a little technique if you're you know watching this gameplay a little bit. You can force choke somebody who's relatively close to you and then use that time while they're stuck and immobile to get closer and then land a few finishing strikes. It's a really good strategy to use, and it's almost unavoidable for the enemy, but the thing is you have to be in a 1v1 situation, because when you're force choking, you yourself are pretty much immobile as well and open to strikes, so if there's other enemies around, I don't recommend you use it. Only do it when it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, or it's going to be enough time before anybody else shows up to kind of uh, mediate the fight. So for your card setup, I'm going to recommend you strengthen Vader's already strengths, and you just don't really worry about his weaknesses now. So the card setup I'm going to recommend you have is the bonus health card, which quite literally is the description you spawn with bonus health if you have it upgraded to at least level three you will be spawning in every single life with 1000 points which is ridiculous now the other card is going to be dark lord what this does is every time you get a kill on a hero or just on an enemy you get a small bit of health back so say you lost some in a fight and then you kill some enemies you can completely recover what you lost even if uh, like it gets like permanently taken away you can you're able to recover all that much now and then the third card is going to be Furious Resilience, and what this does is while you're using your Focused Rage ability, even though you're doing more damage with your Saber Strikes, you're also taking less incoming damage, so I think if you have an upgrade to level 2, you can get a 10% decrease on all incoming damage, and you'll kind of notice a trend happening with these cards. These are all to help you focus on surviving, keeping your health, and then maintaining it throughout multiple fights so you can just stay alive and just focus on Vader being the tank that he is, and uh, if you center your card and your strategy around that, you should have an okay time with Vader. Vader's mobility is unfortunately very low. You won't be moving around the map very quickly, and I recommend you kind of just, if you're playing with a team, if you're using Vader, just kind of be like a commander, just call out where enemies are, and, uh, you know, you can soak it up and then, you know, kind of coordinate with your team of where they should be to take out enemies. You yourself don't need to hunt down everybody. You can handle yourself in a 1v1 fight because of the crazy amount of health that you have, but you can't be the aggressor and just start hunting everybody down because if you play Vader like that, you're probably going to get smacked around a little bit. And that being said, that doesn't really suit my play style for me personally, but maybe that's exactly how you like to play the game, and that's fine, then you should definitely run Vader. Just for me, as just who I am, Vader doesn't really mesh well with my play style, but that doesn't mean I don't recommend him to you. I recommend you give him a go and see if you like him or not. Now, he's maybe not the best heroes versus villains person to run, but in Galactic Assault, he can actually be amazing, and... 
That's who I'm going to recommend you play for some maps. There's a lot of heroes that I like in Galactic Assault or in Heroes vs. Villains and vice versa. I, I'm not a fan of them in the other game mode. Vader's somebody who I don't really like in HVV but is incredible in Galactic Assault. Now the big thing is you have a huge target on yourself when you are Vader. You're really slow, easy to see with your red lightsaber and people can spot you rather quickly but like I said with these card setup that you have you have a ton of health. There's really no way that any just regular soldier is going to be take you down on any one-on-one -on -one gunfight and as you kill more you're going to be able to get that health back and then maintain what you do have. As long as you just play slow and strategic, don't put yourself out there too much to just pepper fire and then it's going to drain your health. You should be okay and you could probably last the entire game as Vader if done right. And I highly recommend him for Galactic Assault, maybe a little bit in HUV. If I had to give him on a scale of 1 to 10, probably Heroes vs. Villains, I'd give him maybe about a 6 or a 7. And then Galactic Assault, maybe about an 8 or a 9. Really, really good here to run this game mode. And uh, if you like him in HVV, if that's your playstyle, then he's going to absolutely suit you. It's just going to be bread and butter, you know what I'm saying? Now, there are a couple alternatives you can run in HVV in terms of card setup you can take off uh maybe the dark lord card from heroes vs villains and put on the extended saber throw if you're playing galactic assault maybe to pick off somebody who's a little bit out of your distance that's fine as well and your force choke is going to be better it, there's there's a card where you can deal more damage with multiple enemies that's extremely good for this game mode as well because you're going to want to drop them as soon as possible while you are mobile but you just kind of play around with the card setup figure out what suits you and just roll with it but guys that is going to be the vader guide for today i hope you did enjoy this if you did make sure you leave a like on the video that'd be really 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 cool i'd appreciate it a ton subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more guides just like this as well and uh, let me know in the comment section which hero you would like to see next because this one was a highly requested one and uh, i want to know what you guys want to see coming up but guys let me know in the comment section what you want to see thank you everybody so much for watching once again i appreciate it hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video peace out